Well, here is another idea that you can try using a bird stencil. And you don't need to do a bird, you can do anything you want. Um, or you could just freehand draw something a couple you know, times and then trace them. Um, I just happen to have um, a little baggie full of paper birds. So I thought, ooh, I wanna try this. So um, it's springtime and I'm enjoying the bird, so I thought that would be a fun one to try. And the idea that you can do a pattern um, and have it evenly spaced across. I also think of this project sort of like a printmaking thing because you are sort of doing a monoprint. Um, so then, yeah, once you draw it, uh, outline it with pencil, then you just kind of sketch around with whatever color paint you want. And I'm using scrapbook paper because, well, for the first 10 years with kids, I made scrapbooks and then I moved to digital books. But of course, I still had lots of scrapbook paper left over. So that's what I'm using for this project. Um, and like the butterfly project, you want to make sure that you put on plenty of paint you don't put enough on like I didn't the first time then it doesn't create as nice of a print on the other side so try a variety of colors and have fun just making it wild and creative and remember every 30 seconds or so you need to stop painting and fold and smear again or press so that you get that transfer of your paint. Just trying to think of what other things would be fun. Probably fun to do fruit, flowers, well pretty much anything because you can just, it doesn't even have to be symmetrical because they're the whole bird. So whatever you do on one side will be the same on the other. I think trees would also be a really fun to experiment with. Um, mushrooms, because I love mushrooms, of course. But you could try anything you want. This is just kind of a loose childlike project. So just have fun with it. Can't go wrong, just add lots of color. And then if you feel like it needs a little bit of texture or pattern in the background, you can always add some texture with circles or dots or lines. And um, I know I really enjoy um, pattern, so I thought it would be fun to add some circles. And you could just leave it blue with just blue circles, or if you feel like it needed a little something, you can always go ahead and then Add a little black. I really like Vincent Van Gogh and he uses a lot of black outlines which kind of flattens stuff and makes it cartoonish but I like that look. So that's what I decided to do. I, I kind of liked it before and after but I think it's fun to add the black outlines to everything. Gives it a totally different look. And sometimes you kind of have to touch up the other side because you didn't put quite enough paint um, on the one side.
So it'll be fun to see what cool patterns you guys come up with. Enjoy.